A couple of weeks ago, Apple released the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, which comes with something called 3D Touch. We did a separate video explaining what the technology does, so if you guys haven't seen that video yet, make sure to check it out over here. Basically, it adds another layer of navigation to iOS, allowing users to access quick actions along with features like peek and pop. It's a huge addition to the iPhone and it works great in Apple stock apps, but it'll only really become a huge part of the future if developers use it in their apps. After all, our smartphones wouldn't be anything without apps we use every day. Now, there aren't a whole lot of apps that support Apple's new 3D Touch tech just yet, but there are a few that caught our eye. In Magic Piano, for example, if I were to press on the notes with different levels of force, 3D Touch changes the volume of the notes and creates a more complex sound. It's very hard to show this in video, but if you try it out yourselves, you'll hear the difference. The harder you press on a display, the more the sound changes. It's pretty much like playing a real piano, giving you a deeper level of immersion. Magic Piano doesn't support peak and pop nor quick actions, but it will be able to figure out how hard you press on a display when you're inside the app. Next up is Shazam. Now with Shazam and Apple's 3D Touch, the Shazam app now supports quick actions from the home screen, which means if you deep press on the app icon, a new menu will pop up giving you an option to either start listening or take a photo for visual recognition. The new quick actions feature with Shazam will make it faster for Shazam to start listening to songs, whereas before, you'd have to launch the app, wait for it to load, press the button and start listening. It's not a mind-blowing feature, but it's still cool nonetheless. Moving on to Instagram, 3D Touch takes advantage of both quick actions and peek and pop. When you press hard on the app icon, a menu will pop up giving you options to add a new post, view your activity, search, and look at your DMs. Inside the app, if you're in someone's profile, you can peek at a photo with a medium press, and if you press a little harder, it'll pop into the actual photo. Now you can do the same in your timeline, let's say if you want to peek at someone's profile without fully going into their page, you can 3D Touch their profile photo or name and it'll show you a brief overview. You can swipe up for more options such as sending a message, unfollow, or turn on post notifications for that specific user. I think it changes the way we view photos and profiles in Instagram, and I personally use this feature on a daily basis. Next up is Dropbox. Now, similar to Instagram's feature, you'll be able to 3D touch the app icon to bring up options like uploading a photo, view recently action files, as well as searching your Dropbox. Inside the app though, you'll be able to peek and pop to get previews of folders or files. It's a really neat feature that I'm sure heavy Dropbox users will enjoy. And last but not least is Evernote. Now, if you're a heavy Evernote user, you'll be able to navigate through all your notes using 3D Touch. With quick actions from the home screen, you'll be able to add a new note, take a photo, or set a reminder. Inside the Evernote app, however, you can activate 3D Touch to peek into links and then press deeper to pop into the full website. You can even use the same feature to get a preview of your notes if you'd like, which is very similar to Dropbox, making it easier for you to find the right notes. Now all of these apps we mentioned today are free, so if you guys want to check them out, check out the link in the description below. And if you guys haven't seen our iPhone 6S and 6S Plus reviews, make sure to check them out over here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.